This one is for the fellas. And men, did you know that there are certain things that you can say to a woman that will make her fall for you even more? Well, in today's video, we are going to break down seven, well, actually eight, because I have a bonus for y'all, where you can learn how to say the words, phrases, and sentences that make women go crazy for you. Now, I don't know if you're aware of this, but I actually did a separate video on the different phrases that women can say to men that will make them fall in love with them too. So you want to check that one out while you're over here as well. But before we do, go ahead and put in the comment section, let me know women. What are some things that a man could tell you that will just make you melt? And for the fellas, I need for you to comment too. Let me know some things that you have told women that works and that is effective. Once again, there can be variations of the things that I'm about to say. It doesn't have to be verbatim or word for word, but y'all will get the gist and the understanding of the thing. The first thing that women love to hear from men, and this is in no particular order, is we are doing this together, everything will be fine. Just me saying it right now just relaxed my whole entire body. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but a lot of the times, our nervous system is on overload. That means we're feeling all of the emotions, we're feeling all of the anxiety, we're feeling the weight of the world, we have a whole bunch of different tasks on our plate. That's the, the system that controls our fight, flight, or freeze response. And sometimes ours is just overloaded. So to be able to be in a space, fellas, where you tell a woman, everything is gonna be fine, don't worry about it, we are doing this together, it just relaxes her. She knows that she can trust you, she knows that whatever it is that is going on or about to go down, she won't have to do it alone. She has a partner, whether you're dating, in a relationship, or even married, she has a partner and someone who can be with her to support her on this journey. And sometimes you just need reassurance. Life be life -ing, like we always say. And sometimes you need someone to just come along and say, everything is going to be fine. I'm right here. I got you, boo. That is the sexiest thing a man can say to a woman, period. Relieve our load. Take some stuff off of our plate. Allow yourself to come on and to take charge, not in a controlling way, but to take assertiveness Assertiveness is sexy, not aggression, but assertiveness is sexy. The second thing that you can say to a woman that she absolutely loves to hear and that will make her fall for you is by saying, I'm proud of you or I am proud of who you are. This really just speaks to someone's character. You know, a woman typically has, like I mentioned, a lot on her plate. She's juggling multiple things, especially if she is a spouse or a mother or a business owner or in school. You know, typically we have a lot of things on our plate. Not to say that men don't. The load is heavy a lot of the times. And so to get that reassurance that I'm proud of you, I'm proud of the way you're handling things. I'm proud of who you are and who you are becoming. You are not out here being raggedy, being you know disrespectful. You're not out here lacking integrity, but you're trying your best to do what you can do in order to hold your whole entire world together. I see you and I'm acknowledging that about you. So tell, it, tell that woman you're proud of her. Tell her you're proud. Before I move on to the next one, I want you guys to say these things only if you mean it. Don't be out here saying these things just because you have a different motive. You just saying that because you know her guard will be down and you'll be able to sleep with her. Or you're saying that just because you need her to do something for you. Don't be like that, okay? Say these things to someone if you truly mean it and only if you mean it. The third thing that a woman loves to hear from a man and that will make her fall in love even harder is, hey, beautiful, or something along the beautiful part. And I'm only saying that, or just something that acknowledges her physical beauty. I don't know a woman who does not like a compliment, whether it's their hair, whether it's their makeup, their nails, their body, what they got on, their shoes, their character, what they've said, what something. Come up with some type of compliment that is going to put a smile on her face. I love the Hey Beautiful comment because that speaks to just an inner beauty as well. And it's not just about an outer appearance. There are times, okay, where women could be at home in they sweats, in an oversized t-shirt, their hair not brushed, ain't got on a drop of makeup, nail feet looking raggedy, 
and a man could just see her in that state and still think that she's beautiful. So no matter how raggedy <laughs> the woman is looking in that moment, you acknowledge that that's just a moment, that that is just a second, you know, and she's still beautiful no matter how she's looking in that particular moment. And I can guarantee you that if you tell a woman that, especially during a time frame where she knows she ain't looking her best, you're gonna put a smile on her face. She gonna be excited, she gonna be happy, she gonna be like, I look like this and you think I'm beautiful? You know, like it's going to boost her confidence. It's going to boost her self-esteem because we know that beauty isn't just about the outer appearance. It's truly about what's going on inside. Now, we can't ignore the physical, okay? I know that men love their women to look good, okay? Nobody wants to have some raggedy, <laughs> ugly looking woman on their shoulder, you know, like you want someone who's going to be presentable, who's going to have a nice appearance, but that is not realistic to be looking like that 24 seven. So there will be moments of just everyday, just normalness essentially. And even during those times, it's important for you to acknowledge still that she is beautiful. The fourth thing that a man can say to a woman that will make her fall more in love with you is I've got you and mean it. This is kind of similar to the one, the first one that we talked about, just having that support and knowing that she isn't alone and that you are here on this journey with her means a lot. I like the phrase, I got you, because hopefully that's being said because you really do got her. When somebody says, don't trip, I got you. Don't trip, I got you. That means whatever I need to do, whatever I need to say, whatever I need to pay for, however I need to show up, whatever I need to do, I got your back in this moment and you don't have to worry about anything. The follow through on this one is important. Don't just say, oh yeah, I got you for show. And when she call you at 11, 12 o'clock at night talking about her tires on a flat and she out in the middle of nowhere and needs your assistance, you can't pretend like you sleep. <laughs> because that's not indicative of, I got you. You need to show up and make sure your words and your actions align. That's a big thing. Actions and words have to align. So if you say, I got you, and especially if she is your woman, especially if you're in relationship with her, especially if you're dating her, especially if you're married to her, that should be a given, right? Like you want to show up for her just like you will want her to show up for you. So before I move on to number five, if you are enjoying this content, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this with somebody who needs it. That helps me to continuously keep creating content like this that is going to be helpful for you and your relationship. So the fifth thing that a woman loves to hear from a man is take your time. Take as much time as you need. I know men, y'all probably would hate this one. <laughs> but if she is a good steward of her time, if she has good time management skills, this will not be an issue. Women don't like to feel rushed, especially if we are in the process of trying to look good for you. Especially if we are trying to put all of the pieces of the puzzle together. Think about if a woman is a spouse, if she's a mother, if she's in school, if she's a business owner, if she works full time, she's trying to juggle all of these different things and she wants to look good for you. She wanna, y'all, you wanna have sex with her? She wanna have, right? <laughs> Think about all of the things that goes into that. So sometimes they might be a little bit behind schedule. Sometimes we might need a little bit of extra time. Sometimes, we were consumed by your kids or consumed by work or consumed by household responsibilities and have as much time to get ourselves together or we're running a little bit behind schedule. Don't be impatient. Make sure you see everything in its totality in the whole picture. Don't think, oh my God, you're always running late. You're always 30 minutes late. Hurry up, we're about to be late. Finish up, dude. It's like, hold on. <laughs> I would have been on time if I wasn't doing X, Y, and Z. I would have been on time if I wasn't cooking for you. <laughs> so make sure that you show grace, you show empathy, you show love and support there. And if you find that whatever she's doing, she needs extra time, come in and help her. Hey babe, I know we, are, we need to be leaving in 10 minutes and I know that you're still not dressed yet. Is there anything I can do to help you speed this process up? That's how you be a supportive partner not beating her up, time clocking her, hurrying her up, rushing her. She's just gonna get an attitude and it's just not gonna be a good evening. So make sure that you are trying to support her unless she has a time management issue. If she has a time management issue, 
ain't no words, <laughs> ain't no take as much time as you need. We need to stick to a schedule because this is a repetitive pattern that you need to break and do better and be better about. The sixth thing that a woman loves to hear from a man is, can I get a do over? Now, I mentioned this same one on the other video that I did on the phrases that men love to hear from women. All need a fresh start. And while all of the other ones that we mentioned previously were kind of more positive and, you know, it was a little bit more upbeat, this speaks to what should we do or say when there's discord, when there's disagreements, when there's issues in the relationship. And we value the relationship enough to want to keep working in it and on it. You want to stay with her? and she want to stay with you and y'all just having an off day or an off week or you know there's a little disagreement about something it's okay to say you know what can we start over real quick i know we didn't start off on the best page today i know this conversation didn't start off well i know we've been at each other's neck you know this past week can we start over can we do this over can we and just allowing that space to say you know what i did some things wrong probably you probably did some things wrong too, but let's meet in the middle and see how we can rectify this situation because we do want to stay together and be together. Make it work if the situation is worth making it work. And number seven, before I give you the bonus, the seventh thing that a woman loves to hear from a man is, what is your dream date? I'ma let that sit with y'all for a minute. Women love a man who can plan and coordinate and get things together. We don't always want to be the ones to say, oh, well, let's go to this restaurant. Oh, I want to go here. Oh, I want to go there. Can you do this? Can you take me? And it's just like, sometimes we want the man to take initiative. I don't know about other women, but I know every single time a man has told me, hey, babe, Friday night at seven, be ready. I'm coming to your house. Be ready. <laughs> Guess what? Your girl is ready. She got hair, she got makeup, she got wardrobe, she got nails, feet, jewelry, bags, shoes. She's ready to go because I know that he has something planned for me, whether that is dinner and reservations at a restaurant, a fun night, a movie, something adventurous, um, escape room, something, you know, is planned. And I didn't have to put time and energy into thinking about it for myself. I already got a whole bunch of stuff on my plate, okay? I don't want date night <laughs> to be something that I have to think about every week too. I know some women have a hard time stating what they want. What do you want to eat? Oh no, it don't matter. <laughs> Girl, pick something. <laughs> pick your favorite recipe. If he is asking you what, he, what you want, you better state what you want, okay? Closed mouth don't get fed. Ask for what you want. Before I move on, the dream date allows him to see some of your preferences, some of the things that you enjoy, that you like, that you want to do. And it just pulls in a lot of the elements. So he has a lot to work with. So just think about if he wants to know what the dream date is, answer it thoroughly. But also men, this is a question that you should have in your back pocket at all times so you can know what your woman likes and what she wants to do. Our number eight, the bonus is... I love protecting you. A woman loves to hear from a man that she is loved and protected, especially protected. And I'm not always talking about physical protection, even though that's important. Physical protection is important. When a woman is around you, she wants to know that if something goes down, if there's a fight, if there's a shooting, if we got to run, that you're just not going to leave me, <laughs> you know, to die essentially, but you're going to make sure that I am covered, that I am protected, that I get to a place of safety. If you got to fight somebody physically on my behalf or do what you need to do to protect me and you, you are up for that. That's one thing. But also too, emotional protection is important. I know that if I am sharing my thoughts, feelings, and emotions, and I'm sharing something that is vulnerable and sensitive to me, that my business is not gonna be out in the streets. You're not gonna go into all your homeboys, your family, your friends, your cousin, them. Oh, Keandra, what, Keandra told me so-and-so and, -so and no, because now trust will be broken in our partnership, right? And you don't want that. So telling a woman, I love protecting you, she gonna get giddy. She gonna be in her feelings in a good way. She's gonna be like, ooh, you love protecting me? Well, I love protecting you too, zaddy. 
<laughs> eh. <laughs> My final thoughts on this, because clearly I'm getting a little silly, is there are just certain things that both men and women love to hear, if we're honest. I think it's really just about communication, effective communication, stating what you want, making sure your words and your actions align, being in a position where you can be open, honest, and vulnerable with yourself, but also with the other person that you are dating or in partnership with or in marriage with. And I think that that is just the key fundamentals of what a healthy, thriving relationship should entail. So if you're looking at this list and you're like, dang, I've never said these before, or ooh, I'm writing these down so I can say that to someone that I might be interested in, that isn't necessarily you know, a bad thing. I think it's important to consistently keep learning, growing, and evolving. So thank you so much for watching another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra, and I will see you next time. Be blessed.